Gals, and every here for Drake Wing Gaming. It's something now, it's with the Gaming Dragon. As you can see, we are going to cover another Let's Play episode of Glory Hounds, Issue 3. Oh, y'all, I am very excited to jump right back into Glory Hounds. So let's go ahead and jump right back in. Alarm chain, you are up, and let's go. Issue number three of Models, Monsters, and Mortality. Yeah! Let's do it! Hmm. God, this game is awesome. Last night. And we only had about 20 ticks of the clock to haul your booty and our booties out of there before we'd caught tried and jailed. We were fearing for our lives. So, what happened in the end? Well, I still be here, be I not? Ha ha ha! Though Polly never did find his britches. Not exactly the luckiest lad in the world. He seems very eccentric. Ah, that the feathered fiend may be, but his heart be in the right place. For a criminal, you mean? For a criminal. That blasted Camo, on the other hand. How'd you guys even meet him? He didn't really seem like the pirate type. Scallywag swam into our lair one day with a plan to steal the Money Talks gown. How we how we found the place, I can't even begin to know. I must throttle the lad before I saw the heist plans with my own eyes. We take the gown and split the earnings, savvy? Twas unsinkable! But it didn't turn out that way in the end. For either of us. Er, he brought a spring upon our cable, no mistake. When you get your hands on him, give him a good paddling for me. I'll happily lend an oar to you to, de to do the deed with. We need to figure out where he went first. When I asked of him if he'd ever taken anything that don't belong to him, he said he specialized in fashion of all things. Rare exotic silks and leathers and the like. Not even, alwa not even always things that'd be worth a lot of coin. Strange, ain't it? Says the guy who dresses like a freaking pirate to work. Hey, have you looked in the mirror lately, laddie? We may we may have some colorful uniforms, but at least most are you most of ours ain't form fitting. Which ain't all bad, of course. Quite good the quite the good look on that booty of yours. Right back at ya. You must do some serious squats. This tail ain't just for swimming and sailing, that much be that much be for certain. I could show you if you fancy. Hey now, business first. Hmm, <laughs> fair play to ya. I suppose there'd be one more thing. While we were doing our syndicate orientation, Camo gabbed about some of his plans for after. Said he had some big things lined up for the days, for the coming days. And something about making them all pay. Speaking from experience, would you have any ideas as to what his next course of action would be? Experience? What do you take me for, a rotten thief? Well, you did kind of steal one of the most valuable pieces the gallery had to offer. Twas just, twas a jest, lad. Were it up to me, I would be doing some, uh, what would it be called again? Reconnaissance. 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 Ay, that. Find out what his next target would be, and then get there before he does. And give him what he deserves. Thanks, Captain. Turns out there's more to you than just good looks and criminal wreck and a criminal record after all. Ha <laughs> ha! You got quite a mouth on you, on your mouth, mouth on you, eh? I could put it on you instead, if you'd prefer that, back at my place. How to go pick up the top, laddie. Wait for me. God. Stop fucking the captain! Jesus, you did it in the last fucking issue. <laughs> Huh. Was like, no. Huh. Oh. Sweet, sweet nectar. Okay. Drifting. I'm drifting on an endless blue expanse, far above the ground. My view bobs up and down, slowly, evenly. Thoughts come and go, never staying too... Yeah, I know what he's doing. Hmm. I've done that a few times myself. I'm lost somewhere between dream and reality. My sense is dulled, save for a pleasant soreness. Exhausted, but content. I stretch my aching limbs and yawn. At some point I open my eyes, but the blue expanse beneath me remains. Oh, man. Ha! <laughs> ha. Huh. Well, well, look who's waking up. Hmm. I rub my eyes. The humongous whale just smiles at me. At least I think he. At least I think he does. I can't quite tell from this angle. His head's really big. Good morning to you, lad. Had a good night's rest. With what little of it we spent sleeping? Yeah, I guess. Hey, <laughs> yes. I suppose I did keep you up longer than I intended. It's okay. You make a pretty good bed. I snuggle into him. He flexes the peck I'm using as a makeshift pillow so hard it makes my head bounce. <laughs> hey, cut it out. I'm still a little sore. Hey, just a little, eh? Might have gone too easy on you after all, then, lad. You call that going easy, Captain? I got a full-body workout. Meant to get you back for that stunt you pulled with that fancy grappling hook of yours, but if you're still gabbing up a storm... 
Hi. <laughs> well, I'll have to bring me own weapons of choice next time we meet. See what really makes you squeak like a ship's like a ship's wheel. I do like the sound of that. Did you hear, lad? What did you just say? I mean, I like the sound of that, Captain. Ha! That's more like it. No, you would, laddie. No, you would. What kinds of weapons are we talking about? Oh, a couple of ropes, maybe a little something to shut that mouth of yours. Hell yes! Really? Hmm, you should see the look on your face right now. Priceless. I should stay on my toes next time we fight if this man's got me figured out this well already. Jerk. He laughs. You know, I got a few things my um, things of my own we can... <laughs> are you winning, son? <laughs> well, obviously. <laughs> Just then the door slams open. I jolt up from the large whale man's chest, snatching the closest thing I can find, a small towel to cover our naked bodies with. Hey, Rumi! Oh, uh, hey, Rumi's friend! Max, get- got, you gotta start knocking Jesus! Oh, my bad, I'll come back later! <laughs> he closes the door, but I hear his voice on the other side. When twilight falls, the dusk count prowls. Dusk has come to obscure the night. It's parking time. Dusk count, defender of the night. Oh my god, this is silly. It's parking time. I like that. What? It's so stupid. Boy. Okay. He closes the door, but I hear his voice on the other side. Ah, gotta pause it for a second, y'all. Water time. God, the music in this is so good. Oh, breakfast on the table, dude. I got something for you. Kind of in the middle of something here. How are we now? He squeezes my butt. I barely managed to contain a yell. Oh, it's just my mom got these tickets for this thing tonight. I thought maybe you and Lou might like to go. No, Dad. Oh, also some guy named Milo called. He was asking where you were. Tense up. What did you tell him? Oh, just told him you were hanging out with a friend and that you'd be over right away. He said he'd get you, he said you'd get you over there when you're ready. I hear him walk away. The sigh of relief that comes out of me is audible. Glad I'm not getting fired for being late twice in a single week. What time is it even? Hmm, about nine, lad. I suppose it'd be about time to put on our britches and bid our goodbyes for now. But first... He grabs me and turns me around with a single hand. Oh. Before I can protest, I feel his lips against mine. Though it takes some precision aiming considering how big he is. Outside of combat, I didn't think I didn't think I'd mind I don't think I'd mind the sheer size of him one bit. Or the size of his tongue for that matter. I'm more than a little woozy by the time he pulls back. One for the road. I lean in again. Can we make that too? I reckon we got time for another round? I'll make time. Had a boy. Okay, I am the terror that howls in the night. The name's Hound. Dusk Hound. The name's Bond. James Bond. Beware the Hound of Twilight's Bite. I watch him get dressed. I shower with him, but our shower's barely big enough for me as is. Hey, I see some... I see some... I see one familiar face. Don't know who they are. Are we going to an upcoming one? Huh. I don't think it'd be... I don't think I'd be able to handle Ahab. I don't think any of my apart any apartment in the city can handle him. Kind of makes me wonder just how big the furniture and the and the doors of the, this the doors in this place might be. Hmm. The thought of a car wash sized bathtub amuses me. God, that look on your face. Well, I, est I estimate this be it, Spotty. He regrettably zips up his pants. Next time we meet out there, we shall be enemy enemies once more. At least I know your soft spots now, and I yours. He gives my chest a poke that could easily bowl me over if he applied even the tiniest bit more force. I tend to give you no quarter all the same. Not even after last night, huh? After last night, you should be aware I ain't the type to just lie back and take it, laddie. See, it's me. Just try to stay out of trouble until then, okay? Keep the thievery to a minimum if you can. If you can promise me you'll go after Kama, it would be a done deal. He leans down to give me one more peck on the lips before he turns around and walks out of my bedroom. Ah, I love this dynamic! Ah! Love this dynamic. Enemies on the field, but lovers and lovers behind closed doors. I love it. Be seeing Yummy Hardy. I hear the front door close a moment later. Can I, uh, can I come in, dude? Yeah. Max has seen me in my undies more times than I can count. Not too big a deal when there's a big naked whale in my room. Hmm. Whoa, this place is a mess. What did you guys do? Uh, just played some games. 
The triple A or the triple X kind? That's... that's none of your... I'm surprised you got anything done with all the earthquakes last night. I don't remember any earthquakes. Really, dude? The whole building was shaking. I kept hearing this awful screaming. Really harsh my vibe, you know what I mean? It lasted for most of the night. Oh, uh, I'm sure no one got hurt. I hope so, dude. Anyway... He wiggles a pair of thick tickets in my face. Uh, what are these for? There's this big fashion thing tonight. Everyone's going. And your mom isn't? No, she's shooting this perfume ad. I thought she was shooting an ad yesterday. That one was for skinny jeans. Those are back in fashion? When you're a butterfly, every pair of jeans is skinny jeans. Keep up. Uh -huh. You want these? I'd love to go, but I kind of had this work thing today, and I promised I'd be at the Hain for the anniversary. No big deal, dog, dude. I'll see how much I'll see how much they sell for online. They probably make some bank. Uh, thanks all the same. I'll uh be ready in a few. Got to freshen up. Put on some clothes. All right. Oh, by the way, the guy who just left. I swear I saw him on the news somewhere. Really now? Heh, <laughs> funny that. Anyway, uh, see you in a bit. <laughs> I shut the door and collapsed face first into the bed once more. The last day or so is still a blur to me, but after all is said and done, I think it could have gone a lot worse. Never thought it'd end with me sleeping with a wanted criminal, but hey, at least I learned a thing or two about our new target from Ahab. I'm sure Milo and Raul can use that somehow. I closed my eye, closed my eyes, and sighed into my pillow. Before my bed lowers underneath me. Is it collapsing? What, was Ahab that heavy? I rubbed the sleep out of my eyes. No, it's definitely not collapsing. It's freaking sinking! Into the... Into the floor! I hold onto my sheets for dear life, and my bed turn, turns until it's almost vertical, and both me and the sheets fall down onto another angled surface. Another one of these slides? Why in my bedroom? It only takes a moment of hurtling down at top speed before, I'm, before I meet my old friend, the mat in the computer room. Woof! And my pelvis already wasn't doing so good after last night. Hmm? Uh, can you please start warning me before you do that? My phone thuds on the mat next to me. At least I don't have to go back, go to home to pick that up anymore. Uh, Roll and Milo are, for once, are silent. Roll's got his hand clasped over his mouth. Milo's just standing there, though I can hear his beak grinding from all the way down over here. What's wrong? Roll tugs at his collar. His face is about as red as his tie. Well... Oh! I look down. Oh, right. I grab my sheets and pull them over me, avoiding any potentially sticky places I have left. It's your fault! I wasn't expecting my bed to turn into a theme park ride! You were late. We were wondering where you were. Clearly not getting ready for work. You are lucky this is a nine this is not nine to five job. For your information, I was investigating the gown all night. I see. Must have been a difficult task to perform in undergarments. But investigator fancy shower and change of clothes. That would be appreciated, yeah. I feel much better after finally getting a chance to freshen up and brush my teeth. So this is what rich rich people body wash smells like. Gotta say, I'm a fan. I'll just bike over from now on, if you don't mind. Apologies, Spot, but time is of the essence. We must crack case, after all. Any new discoveries? I was up all night looking into security footage, but I couldn't find the little devil anywhere. It's as though he went off the grid the moment he left the bar after the fight. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and pause it right there. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and that notification bell, and check out our Patreon if you can. It always helps. Before I go, I'm going to give a quick shout-out to our lovely Bronze Tier patrons. Thank you all for all you do for the channel. We greatly appreciate the support. Thank you to our Silver Tier patron, Cade Silvermoon. Thank you for going a bit above and beyond. It's greatly appreciated. Thank you to our Gold Tier patron, Armor. You're awesome. We love you. Thank you for subbing to Ultimate Tier. Anyway, if y'all want to get your names in the credits, get access to our Not Safe for Work contents as little as $5. Alrighty, I love you all, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye